ओके तो क्या बोल रहे क्वेश्चन में रीड करते हैं On 1st January 2012, a life insurance company sold a regular premium participating endowment assurance policy to a life aged 30 years for a policy term of 25 years. So 30 years का है. Then uh, the person is aged 30 years, 25 years का policy duration है. The basic sum assured under the policy is 5 lakhs and an annual premium of 15,000 is there. Um, is payable each year in advance during the policy term. The company declares revisionary uh, bonus in each year. So each year they are declaring this uh, reversionary bonus. Some assured along with accrued bonus is payable on maturity or on early death. So some assured is payable with the bonus obviously on maturity or on the death which is payable at the end of the year. Input sheet, uh, details of the valuation assumption for expected mortality. Um, so all these things are given in the input sheet. Inflation is applied on um, fixed renewal expense. And starting from the second policy anniversary in the same sheet, actual expenses, uh, all these are given uh, from year 2012 to 2022. The actual mortality experience was 75% of the expected mortality at all ages. So the actual mortality is also given to us. Any decrement, decrement other than the death is ignored. Using the given information on actual experiences, calculate the gross premium retrospective reserve of the said policy as at 11th policy anniversary. So everything is given. They want us to calculate the retrospective. How do you calculate retrospective reserve? Quickly tell me. How do you calculate retrospective reserve? Yes. Huh. Accumulation of all the Uh, so, uh, uh, accumulated value of the premium minus accumulated value of the benefits. Okay? Uh, so, let's do that. Let's start. So, this is uh, what is given to us. They have uh, given the mortality rates, the expenses. This is the renewal fixed expense and this is the increase in inflation expenses. This is the initial expense. Um, then these are the valuation rate, discounting rate, which is this only, actually inflation. We have renewal fixed expenses payable. This is the actual inflation, uh, actual expense. Um, then we have the actual return earned each year. Then we have the actual mortality and then we have the reversionary bonuses which were given. Okay, so these are the things given here. Now you all can just quickly... Uh, make the entire table. So we need to calculate the retrospective reserve, right? So in order to, this is of how much marks? This is of 19 marks. So this is the majorly, uh, the entire part of the question, like half of the question. Um, so um, to calculate the gross retrospective reserve, what we'll be needing, we'll be making all the columns of benefits and all the columns of uh, expenses, premium, and then accordingly we will calculate. Okay? So let's start. Let's start with the year. Okay? So I'll just zoom in. And since all the uh, probably all the input cells are given. So it's no point to create inputs again. So you can start. Uh, so since they are asking 11th policy anniversary. Meaning after 11 years. So you can say time t. And this will go up till 11. Because we only need the values up till 11, not after that or before that. Policy years, if you want, you can also write that. So the policy year is, they are selling on 1st January 2012. So it starts from 2012. So you can write, why are we needing this? Because the investment returns. Because for the investment returns, you will be needing the policy years. Maybe for using VLOOKUP. And after this, we have age. क्या क्या लेते हैं और 
what is the basic sum assured why are we writing basic sum assured because we also have because we also have what we also have the reversionary bonuses okay so we'll also yes then correct so we have the reversionary bonus as well that we need to keep in mind now make sure acha dekho so basically here for the reversionary bonus um they have given us uh where is it yeah this this is bonus per 1000 so bonus per 1000 meaning 45 divided by if i say what is the bonus per 1 rupee of sum assured will be 45 by 1000 which is over here meaning uh, 0.045 right so let's let's not directly take 45 let's create another column and just say that reversionary bonus uh, rate i am using a few shortcuts um so you guys don't have to like i am using few short forms over here for reversionary sum assured in exam you will have to write full full you cannot uh, write in short form and then once you have this you will obviously calculate the cumulative bonus because any bonus declared in any year it gets accumulated right if the bonus is declared in year 1 then obviously it gets accumulated to year 2 as well like it becomes cumulative so it gets accumulated to your two as well then so let's do it till here so far the eight starts from 30 if i'm not wrong and this will go basic sum assured is how much what is the basic sum assured have they mentioned it here 5 lakh they have not mentioned here so we can just type 5 lakh maybe yeah this is the basic sum assured reversionary bonus rate i can uh, take it from here or it's better that we use a v lookup function since you all can see that for the reversionary bonus they have the years mentioned all right so it's better that we use v lookup and that was a reason that we took this policy or so what i'll do is i'll select this entire table make it absolute obviously you guys have to use dollar dollar signs and then to um you can also write a false so this will give you the reversionary bonus rate this is per 10 uh, per 1000 i think per 1000 right yes this is per thousand okay so cumulative bonus now how to calculate cumulative bonus will be the basic sum assured multiplied by the bonus rate and divided by thousand because this is not rate this is not per hundred actually this is um, per thousand so i'll just multiply and drag now since we are writing cumulative so what we'll do is in the next cell i will we'll take this and also we'll add the we'll add this bonus the bonus which is announced in year 1 right and then you drag so this cell will be different formula and this all will be different got the point because any bonus which is declared in year 1 you have to consider that in year 2 as well all right so that's very basic after cumulative bonus what do we have now sum assured part is done what else tell me next what do we want ha huh? theek hai so um let's do one thing let's make a table theek hai jahan pe what we can do if you all remember aap logo ne um do you all remember that approach which you all did jahan pe aap logo ne टीवी uh, निकाला था सो यू ऑल कैलकुलेटेड दिस टीवी डू यू ऑल रिमेंबर दिस अप्रोच यस एनी वन बेसिकली द पॉलिसी वैल्यू टी माइनस वन वी पॉलिसी वैल्यू रिमेंबर डू वाइज रिमेंबर टेल मी
Hmm? We have investment return as well, right? So, what do we do over here is la let's calculate the policy value before and after because that will be required and then you have since the actual values are given to us. So, what we are actually paying the death claim and all that these things are given to us all right so we can therefore we can make it easily ha huh, khushi tell me acha acha right ye bhool se drag ho gaya hai mujhe isko change karke karna tha this is wrong actually theek hai now it's fine ठीक है सो ऑल राइट थैंक्स फॉर पॉइंटिंग दिस आउट ठीक है ये हो गया अभी मुझे क्या चाहिए ना मुझे रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव आई वॉन्ट रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव रिजर्व सो इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव रिजर्व आई बी नीडिंग द एक्चुअल सो दे हैव गिवन द एक्चुअल वैल्यूज वेन एवर यूजली यू कैलकुलेट अ रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव ना वॉट डू वी से दैट वॉट एवर इज डन सो फार You generally take actual values when you calculate the retrospective. ठीक है So what we'll do? Uh, just give me a second. Yes, recursive relationship, Anjali. Very good. Can you tell me what is a recursive relationship? very good uh, so basically using can you just uh, write it down over here in the chat box so that i can copy paste it over here it will be better i don't know why again my this thing okay am i audible to you all okay so um <clears throat> let's uh, calculate that only so it will become easier for us to you know calculate the value so gross policy value I don't know why again you guys join so late. So it is. I'll write t minus one v. Okay. Now gross policy value. Let's do one thing. So for uh, for the year. One, it will be obviously zero. This is before the start of the year, so I can write before the start of the year, and then after this, it will be. First, we have to calculate the entire equation, right? So it is, ah, uh, t minus ah uh, one v plus the premium minus any expenses. Entire thing multiplied by the return, which is I, which is given to us, equal to S, which is a sum assured we are paying, multiplied by the probability of death Q X, uh, Q X plus T minus one actually, and then plus uh, we have T V into probability of survival, right? So this is the entire equation that we make. Uh, after this, we'll take premium into account. For premium, it's given as fifteen thousand is fixed, right? So, have they mentioned it here? No. So I'll just type fifteen thousand, and I'll drag. Okay. This is the premium. 
then we have the expenses now what do we take should we take the actual expense which is given to us or should we take the um expected expenses what should we take tell me quickly we'll take the actual expense which is this right so for the first one i'll go and select this one and for the later expenses this will be again for the later expenses it will be increasing where is it renewal expense okay so these are the renewal expenses now they have given re renewal expenses payable annually in advance from the second policy anniversary onwards so do we take this 250 or do we start from 265 tell me we will start from 265 because there is no point of taking the first one we are already taking the fixed initial expense so we will just again drag is this clear please see is this clear after we have taken the expenses we have um what else was given then we have the premium related expense also you have to consider all the actual expenses so we have 15% in the first and 2% so it's like commission only theek hai it's like a commission only premium related expenses you guys need to write full form i'm not writing this right now so what do you need to do for premium related expenses just um multiply this with the premium multiplied by fifteen percent and make it from the second year onwards is premium multiplied by you could you can use an if function also that if again make it absolute and drag that if this is your one then multiply this with 15% if it's other years then multiply it with 2% i am not doing it it's fine we can do it this way also since the premium premium is fixed so obviously the premium related expenses will also be fixed all right after you have the premium related expenses and everything now you can calculate the investment return so how to calculate the investment return first let's do one thing see over here we have the actual investment return over the calendar year right we have actual investment return over the calendar year so what we will do is we will just simply multiply this like you all have also written in so I'll, do i need to write this separately no i don't think we can just straight away move to the rest calculation which is t minus 1 v we write plus premium minus all the expenses and then we just multiply this with 1 plus i at the end of your theek hai all right so this will be this plus the premium minus all the expenses that you have uh, yeah into we have 1 plus the again we could have done we look up over here for the investment return with just match the year and everything it's fine i'm not doing it you could have just like we did for this bonus rate we could have created investment return rate and then we could have taken policy year and cal uh, put down all the returns you could have done that but i think this is also fine not an issue theek hai ha bolo tell me all right so this is done once you have this so we have we reached the entire recursive now 
this will also be equal to the previous one. Now you can drag, you get the actual answers. Okay. Please check whether your answers are matching or not. I think this is wrong. Let's not take this into account right now because we haven't actually taken the probabilities, right? We have not taken the death claim. I just forgot the essay. So there will also be a death claim. Death claim, how do we calculate death claim? हाँ, on है, वो हम back end से कर रहे हैं. So, uh, this will be your basic sum assured plus you have the cumulative bonus and then you need to multiply this with the mortality. Now, they mentioned one thing that the uh, actual mortality is 75% make this absolute of the this uh, rate. You could have created, I think, another uh, column I think that will be better if we can create another column for actual QX over here where we can use VLOOKUP VLOOKUP age here we can maybe select this table make it absolute comma to comma false and then multiply it with 75% Okay. So, this is your actual QX which you need to multiply over here with the death claim which is basic sum assured plus you have bonus multiplied by actual QX. Alright. I don't know why we are getting a zero. Uh, Why is it not giving me the correct value for age 31? Oh, I did not make this absolute. Hmm. 75%. Check it. Please see this. Now once you have the death claim. Now once you have the death claim. What do we do now?
this minus the death claim. I could have straight away taken it here only. T minus 1 B plus P minus expenses into 1 plus I is equal to what? Sum assured into QX plus TV. So now for TV, I could have straight away subtracted from this. I could have subtracted subtracted the death claim to get the TV value. So this is actually the TV value. But for the TV value, what else do you need? For the TV value, you need to um, multiply this with PX, right? So we need TV, which is carried forward. How do you calculate TV, which is also the retrospective reserve. Tell me, how do you calculate the retrospective reserve? So it's very simple. We have this. Okay. And you just divide it by Px. That's it. This is what you do now for retrospective reserve. And now the gross policy value brought forward will be obviously this one just drag just drag please check your answers so what formula we have used I'll just write it down over here Very good, Venetia. Divided by the survival probability. So, we have used T minus 1 plus P minus all the expenses. This entire thing multiplied by 1 plus the return. Okay? Minus sum assured into Q into qx whatever x whatever you have and in order to calculate just the tv okay now this is equal to what this is equal to tv into px now i need this tv which is the reserve value at the end so obviously i take this entire equation and i just divide it by px that is what we have done this is the formula that we have used. Yes or no? This is the formula that we have used. So, we have calculated this part, this entire part, minus SQX is this. This is the entire LHS part. Okay. This is the entire LHS part that we have calculated. Now, I want just the TV, which is the gross retrospective reserve at the end of your T. In order to do that, I take the entire LHS divided by Px. You get your TV and this TV will be carried forward over here. That's it. Simple. Got it? Yes. Tell me quickly. Yes or no? Is it clear? Let's do the next part. This was actually a little tricky but now see, once you solve all the different kind of questions it becomes easier for you Agar, if you get anything similar in this respect you will be able to solve it right so just give me a second okay so the uh, next part uh, is uh, one second okay next part is from the given information on expected assumptions Calculate each of these values at inflation adjusted interest rate recursively backwards from the end of the policy term 
to the 11th policy anniversary so now they want us to calculate each of these terms separately these annuities and assurance factors at the inflation adjusted interest rate so we need to adjust it according to the inflation recursively backwards from the end of the 11th policy anniversary now again this is a little tricky part but you know if you break this down into parts i think we will be able to solve this equation so let's do one thing let's make a copy of the first sheet since we'll be needing a few columns from that so i'll make a copy of the sheet now you guys um, can use the shortcut of alt e m alt e m and let's put it here okay this is anyways blank so you all can delete this sheet and rename this as question 2 all right now let's start um what all do we need we don't need this then uh what all do we not need over here we need time we need policy years we also need the age we can use basic sum assured and all this for calculating the assurance factors um do we need this we don't need this we don't need premium we don't need this we don't need this so i'll just remove um we need actual qx let's remove these things actual qx will be required to calculate the factors okay um now let's do one thing since we are not using anything so this is not actual qx now we'll just need the qx values do they want us uh to calculate the do do they want us to use the actual qx no because here you are not calculating the reserve you are just calculating the assurance factors so obviously you will not be needing the actual uh, uh qx you will be needing the real qx which is there so what we can do uh, we can just simply take this and not multiply it with 75% that we were doing okay so this is the expected qx that we have okay now before moving ahead what they want us to do is to calculate i think uh, did we take anything all extra so this is your renewal fixed theek hai discounting rate is there inflation is there um reversionary bonus also i think we cannot take the actual one this is the actual reversionary bonus rate that they, they gave us some reversionary bonus rate over here also now uh did they give us or we what was the bonus rate that they gave us can you tell me anyone Yes, yes, yes. Tell me. Where is it? It's in the question paper, kya? Kaha hai forty? Then kaha se aa raha hai forty? Tell me. so since they have not given anything they should ideally have given us the uh, reversionary bonus rate because this is the actual bonus we will be using the reversionary bonus rate which is uh, expected since nothing is given uh, i don't know why they have taken 40 in their question paper in their solution but here they have not given anything related to that since they have not given anything we'll just uh, since they have also taken 40 i'll take 40 to match the solutions that's it otherwise in reality since when we are doing this in exam they have not given anything about the expected reversionary bonus rate we'll just take it 40 and move forward that's it because there is no other option they have not given anything if you want you all can just write here reversionary 
bonus rate that you expect is 40 and you just that is per thousand of the sum assured per thousand of sum assured okay so we'll take this there is no other option because they have not given anything related to this in exam if you want you can take the actual one only because obviously in exam we'll not be knowing which one to take uh this is done uh when you have cumulative now you will take this as the cumulative bonus Give me a second. Acha, one second. For the given information, from the given information on expected assumptions. So, using the expected assumptions that they have, we need to calculate each of these at the inflation adjusted rate, which we'll calculate recursively backward from the end of the policy term to the 11th policy anniversary right so what do we need is from time we'll start from time 11 time 12 this will go up till 25 since we have 25 years this year will be obviously year 2022 and again it will go downwards since we don't have any information about the um this bonus rate we will consider the bonus rate which is there towards the end only so we are taking it as 40 check if since we don't have the actuals age over here will be the person after 11 years the age will be 40 right so just drag 41 this is the age of the person Cumulative bonus for this one at the end of the 11th policy anniversary is what we got over here, which is this one. No, sorry, this one. Cumulative bonus. Okay? The cumulative bonus is the bonus after 11th year is obviously this what we got over here. Hana? So, I will take this as the bonus and then from here onwards, it will be 40%. That is what we are assuming and just dragging it forward let's remove this part did you all uh, get this said so we have to calculate recursively from the end of the policy term to the 11th year so it's of 25 years i've taken 25 okay this year is again not going down so this will be up till 2036 this is the age of the person basic sum assured is remaining constant we are assuming that the reversionary bonus rate is 40%. You can assume 39 also because the last one is 39. So maybe it's all 39 after this. You can assume that as well. Cumulative bonus uh, for the first, like for this particular year, after 11th year is the one we calculated in the earlier part. And then obviously we are adding all the values. Now here, since we are using VLOOKUP, so you, as you all can see, the values of the QX are also changing. Okay. Um, Although we don't need this one, but okay. And then if you want, you can also calculate Px, which is 1 minus Qx. So you can just drag. This is done. Now what do we need to calculate is the inflation adjusted interest rate. How do you calculate inflation adjusted interest rate? Can, any all, can anyone tell me? 
how do you calculate inflation adjusted interest rate if i is the interest rate and e is the inflation so basically it's 1 plus i divided by tell me how do you calculate inflation adjusted interest rate if r is the inflation adjusted interest rate let's say suppose i is the nominal value and e is the inflation then how do you calculate quickly tell me One plus I okay, so one plus I divided by one plus inflation. Let's J take J as inflation, okay. One plus uh, inflation minus one will give you the real rate of return. Agar aap LCM le loge, it will give you what one plus I minus one minus J divided by one plus J. So, 1, 1 gets cancelled out. You are left with I minus J. J is the inflation rate. Usually, we take E as the inflation rate. 1 plus E. This is the formula for inflation adjusted interest rate. So, inflation adjusted interest rate. Let's quickly calculate. We have... Do, do, do. This is I minus inflation divided by 1 plus. Just please check, are you all getting this answer? Please check, are you all getting this answer or not? Okay, so once we have all these values with us, now after this we can start calculating. Very first one is, you can also uh, calculate, I think we will be needing T minus 1 Px. How to calculate T minus 1 Px? First one will obviously be 1 and then from the second year onwards it's 1 multiplied by the probability of survival. It's cumulative so you can just drag. Okay, so that's how you calculate T minus 1 Px. Mm. 11th year end. This will be this one. Q, yeah, P41. Chicken, they clue. Now, after this, first one is the, this is what? This is term assurance. This is term assurance factor. A x plus t dash n minus t. x plus t is what? At time t, you are standing at time t. So, x plus t, what is the age right now? Which is 40. Uh, n minus t. n is the total duration. So, n minus t is basically the policy duration left. So, how to calculate this? We will start from the very last one. So, A x plus t n minus n minus t and here for 1 you can write like this. Okay. <coughs> Or you can give that one here as well after A. It's fine. Any which way, it's understandable. Or you can just write term assurance factor. Now, how to start with this? We'll start from the very last value. We'll start with the very last value. At time 25, at time 25 this will be A, 54, 0. Right? N minus N. So, this will become 0. Obviously, at the end of the policy or it becomes 0. After this, how do you calculate? We have done this in class. Quickly tell me. The last value plus the value uh, 
प्लस वन इफ द पर्सन डाइज ड्यूरिंग दैट योर सपोज दे आर गेटिंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ वन सो अच्छा दिस वील मल्टीप्लाई विद द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सर्वाइविंग इन दैट योर ठीक है विच इज पी P53, P54 actually in that particular year. After this, बोलो plus वन into If the person dies, then the person gets. So basically, what are we calculating here? We are calculating a fifty-three one, a fifty-three dash one, a fifty-three dash one, which is equal to what? One into one is a sum assured. One into q fifty-three. Very simple into v because you are taking it uh, at time. You are taking it at time fifty three, at time twenty four, basically. So it will be uh, Q probability of death. This one probability of death. Bolo jaldi se. Is it fine? This is basically age at the start. Person is aged thirty right now at time zero. So let me do one thing. Let me write your age at the start of the year. Okay, this is age at the start of the year. So this is what? This is zero. मतलब पहले वाला लास्ट वाला तो zero है. So we are calculating a fifty four one. Actually, that is what we are calculating. ठीक है ना? तो उसके लिए हम लोग क्या करेंगे प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट द पर्सन डाइज ड्यूरिंग द योर क्यू फिफ्टी फोर इन टू वी सो जस्ट डिवाइड दिस बाय वी विच इज वन प्लस दिस वन क्योंकि दे फास्ट टू कैलकुलेट यूजिंग द इन्फ्लेशन एडजस्टेड देख लो आई थिंक माय आंसर इज नॉट मैचिंग वाई सो एफ ट्वेल्व अच्छा हाँ राइट सो हियर वील नॉट टेक इन्फ्लेशन एडजस्टेड रेट वील जस्ट टेक द सिंपल फ्रॉम द इनपुट शीट वील जस्ट टेक द सिंपल सेवन परसेंट ठीक है, because in case of assurance correct, in in case of assurance we don't adjust for inflation, because inflation here is not happening on the sum assured. If it would have been, then we would have taken. Inflation here is only happening for the expenses. Now just drag upwards. ठीक है, that's your answer. We have done this in class, right? We've calculated this in class. Please check. So basically, these are the age at the start of the period. If you don't want to get into any confusion, you can start from age forty-one over here. I think that will be better for us. But since we have already done, so it's fine. Here it should be fifty-five, and that's why it's zero. Okay. The next one is um, a x plus t minus n minus. Why have they written one over here? Is का क्या मतलब है? This is a endowment assurance factor. I don't know why they have written a one over here, but this is a simple endowment assurance. I think they are calculating endowment assurance only. I don't know why they have written a one over there. So here, in case of endowment assurance, this is a fifty-four 
सॉरी ए फिफ्टी फाइव जीरो एट टाइम जीरो वेन ऑब्वियसली जीरो पॉलिसी और इज लेफ्ट यू विल बी राइटिंग वन दैट इज द पॉलिसी इज मेच्योर्ड एंड द पर्सन इज गेटिंग वन इज दिस प्योर एंड डॉमेंट आई थिंक दे आर मीनिंग प्योर एंड डॉमेंट ओवर योर है ना ये प्योर एंड डॉमेंट करने बोल रहे हैं क्या हाँ दिस इज प्योर एंड डॉमेंट दैट दे वॉन्ट अस टू कैलकुलेट तो यहाँ पे वन लिख देते हैं अपने ऐसे ठीक है देन दिस इज टर्म अश्योरेंस दिस इज प्योर endowment ठीक है तो एनी विच वे वन ही आएगा क्योंकि प्योर एंडोमेंट के केस में वट हैपन्स इफ द पर्सन सर्वाइव फॉर द इंटायर ड्यूरेशन इंटायर टर्म देन ही गेट्स द अमाउंट एट द एंड ऑफ द पीरियड सो ऑब्वियसली दिस विल बी योर वन देन आफ्टर दिस ये वाला कैसे निकालेंगे दिस इज ए फिफ्टी फोर वन डैश ठीक है तो उसके लिए ये वाला कैसे निकलेगा प्रोवाइडर द पर्सन सर्वाइव फॉर अनदर योर ही गेट्स वन तो वन इन टू पी एक्स इन टू वी ये निकालना है हमें बोलो दिस थिंग मल्टीप्लाइड बाय प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सर्वाइवल पी फिफ्टी फोर सर्वाइविंग फॉर द लास्ट योर 24 से 25 के बीच में मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नहीं डिवाइडेड बाय 1 प्लस आई वन प्लस आई मेक इट एप्सल्यूट बस अब इसको ड्रैग कर दें ऊपर की तरफ है ना देख लो तो ये वाला पार्ट हमने करा था क्लास में सो आई डोंट थिंक बहुत डिफिकल्ट है देन यू हैव ए ड्यू एक्स प्लस टी एन माइनस टी दिस इज अगेन एन एनविटी फैक्टर तो ए ड्यू एक्स प्लस टी एन माइनस टी देख लो ठीक है अब ये कैसे निकालेंगे बताना अगेन वेन यू स्टार्ट यहां से इट मीन्स ए ड्यू फिफ्टी इट मीन्स ए ड्यू फिफ्टी फाइव जीरो तो ऑब्वियसली वो जीरो ही होगा देन ए ड्यू फिफ्टी फोर वन ए ड्यू फिफ्टी फोर वन वन ईयर इज लेफ्ट एंड सिंस इट्स एन ए ड्यू तो आप लोग आज ही पेमेंट कर दोगे तो उसका वैल्यू वन ही होगा ए ड्यू एक्स वन ए ड्यू एक्स वन सोचो ना ए ड्यू एक्स वन क्या होता है वन ईयर का एनविटी फैक्टर एंड सिंस इट्स ए ड्यू यू आर पेइंग इट राइट अवे टूडे इट सेल्फ सो इट्स वैल्यू विल बी वन दिस इज ए ड्यू फिफ्टी थ्री टू ए ड्यू फिफ्टी थ्री टू हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट ए ड्यू फिफ्टी थ्री टू ए ड्यू फिफ्टी थ्री टू बोलो सो दिस इफ द पर्सन सर्वाइव फॉर वन ईयर वन इन टू वी नाउ दिस वी वील टेक एज द इन्फ्लेशन एडजस्टेड वाला की नॉर्मल वाला बोलो आई थिंक इनका क्वेश्चन ना बहुत ही वियर्ड है what they actually meant was to calculate uh, this last wala at inflation adjusted rest all they wanted to calculate using the basic jo humne kara hai so into v bola hai na chalo ye le lete hain fir 1 into v uh, 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 1 into v मल्टीप्लाइड बाय प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सर्वाइवल कौन सा लेंगे टू इयर्स है ना पी फिफ्टी थ्री लेंगे मतलब हमें ये नीचे वाला लेना पड़ेगा पी फिफ्टी थ्री ठीक है प्लस वन अभी वाला देख लो एक बार यार है कि नहीं जी 
just drag. So this is a do fifty three two dash. So basically one अभी वाला जो अभी मिल रहा है तुरंत so one plus the one rupee which you'll get after one year if provided you survive. So one into p fifty three provided we are surviving for that year into v. That's what we have done and just dragged it upwards. The next one is again um this is. Okay, this is same, but at inflation adjusted interest rate. So this is their uh, way of writing question is not good over here, but okay. So we'll do the same thing now. Just we'll use the inflation adjusted one. So I can make a few things constant here so that I can just drag this right. M nineteen is niche wala, so it's fine. Uh, this will change. This I can just make it. I can just make the column as absolute, and yeah, I can just drag these three right. Yeah, and this I can change the rate to the inflation adjusted rate. Actually, this is I, so I'll have to divide. Um. देख लो एक बार सो इट इज वन प्लस एन सिक्सटीन इंटू वी इंटू पी फिफ्टी थ्री इज दिस द आंसर दैट यू ऑल आर गेटिंग आई थिंक इट्स फाइन ओनली जस्ट मैच द आंसर्स Just match the answers if you all are getting this or not. Ha! Huh, it's not required actually. You can remove it. Please, uh, once it's done, just write to yes. I will move to the next part. ठीक है डन ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज सो इट्स फोर मार्क्स इट्स इजी कैलकुलेट एक्सपेक्टेड प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ईपीवी ऑफ प्रीमियम ईपीवी ऑफ एक्सपेंसेस एंड ईपीवी ऑफ गारंटीड बेनिफिट्स व्हिच इज सम शॉर्ट प्लस द वेस्टेड बोनस 
as at 11th policy anniversary using the functions that we have calculated here. So, okay, they've made a new sheet. This is, so what do we need? We need EPV of premiums. We need EPV of, EPV of expenses, no? Expenses and EPV of guaranteed benefits as, as at 11th policy anniversary. So, uh, EPV of premium will be what? Very simple. Expected present value. So, you need which assurance factor, annuity factor, EPV of premium will be this. A A40 at the end of 11th policy anniversary, meaning this is A41. A41 and whatever policy uh, yours are left. Okay? Ha, Venisha, it's not required. You can avoid that, not an issue. Okay? So, this multiplied by obviously the premium amount, which is not taken anywhere. We can just use this 15,000. Take care. Please see. EPV of expenses will be, so there are two expenses that we have. We need to consider the expected. They have asked us to use all the expected assumptions over here. So in case of expected assumptions, we have this renewal fixed expense per annum and renewal premium related expense. So renewal fixed expense is 700. You need to multiply this with what? Which one? 700 multiplied by? Konsa linge? A due. Again this one but here we will take the since it's a renewal expense and we are at the 11th for at the end of 11th policy so for all the policy anniversary this will be paid only when we are dealing for the first year it's not paid at the start of the first year right at time zero but now it doesn't care uh, we, do, we do not bother about that because it's a renewal expense which is paid for all the years when you are in the 11th year so we'll use this inflation adjusted wala because this is inflating remember so, we'll use the inflation adjusted wala. So, it automatically helps us over there. And then this thing plus we have the uh, premium related one. So, premium multiplied by take the premium amount from here itself. Multiplied by This value again, okay, sorry this one, not the inflation adjusted one, okay, A due, X plus T and minus T, A due, 41 and whatever the term is left, 14 years. Alright, this is the answer that we are getting, then EPV of guaranteed benefits, for EPV of guaranteed benefits, we will add the sum assured for the 11th year plus the cumulative bonus multiply it with which factor? This assurance factor. This is an endowment assurance. So, for case of endowment assurance, what do we do? Since they have asked us to calculate term assurance and pure endowment separately, you can just add both to get the endowment assurance. Simple. Next is the company has decided to pay a terminal bonus of 20,000 only to policyholders who survive till maturity. So, they will pay 20,000 terminal bonus only to someone who survived till maturity. Find the IRR through calculation of NPV to be earned by a policyholder on the policy if the maturity benefit is calculated as the sum assured already accrued bonus till 2022. Future bonus at the rate of 40 per thousand basic sum assured, and that is why the reason we were taking 40 for the above one. Now I 
get it and uh, basic sum assured in the terminal bonus as above so what they want us to calculate is the internal rate of return that the policy holder will be earning provided he survives to the end of the year and provided he uh, gets this this terminal bonus basic sum assured and whatever the bonus was accruing till 2020 ठीक है देख लो सो I only want to calculate the cash flows for the policy holder, right? So what we'll do here is we'll just calculate the cash flows which a uh, policy holder will accrue. So let's take the terminal bonus. This terminal bonus is how much? Twenty thousand, uh, two thousand or twenty thousand. ठीक है and provided the policy holder survives for the entire twenty five years, let's do one thing. Let's start with the zero because there will be a cash flow at time zero also. ठीक है and um, Let's take all the cash flows. Now, quickly tell me this is a very easy calculation. It's not very difficult. IRR. Let's take five percent as the IRR. Let's calculate V using this one divided by one plus I. Okay. Now, what I want is for me if I'm surviving for the next twenty-five years, what are the cash flows that I'm making? I'm making premium each year, which is fifteen thousand. Right, so I am paying fifteen thousand each year. So let's go and select this premium for from anywhere since we have not written it. So just make it absolute. So this is the cash flows that I am making till twenty four, till time twenty four. This is not term. Let's write the time t. I am making this till time. And here, what am I receiving at the end of twenty fifth year? What am I receiving? Can anyone tell me what am I receiving? Yes, can anyone tell me? I am receiving the basic sum assured. I am receiving the basic sum assured at the end of the twenty-five years. Plus, I have re I am receiving this cumulative bonus, whatever is accumulated at the rate of forty, and that is why we calculated this over here. ठीक है? Plus, we need the terminal bonus. देख लो, it's coming as ten lakh thirty one thousand. Please see, it's coming as ten lakh thirty one thousand. Now, these are my cash flows. I want you to calculate the IRR. Your NPV should be zero, obviously. ठीक है. So let's calculate the present value. This multiplied by one plus, or we have calculated I. So uh, we make it absolute to the power this. ठीक है. V we have taken ना, so V को minus नहीं करना. Just drag and then we'll take a sum of all the values here. Sum of NPV. Change this to zero by changing IRR. Okay, simple. 
data what if goal seek changes to zero by changing It's 7, let's increase 7.1%. Change this to number. That's it, very simple. Tell me, any doubt so far? So, the reason we calculated this over here, it's important that you read the question entirely first before starting. Why have we taken just a little bit confusion that this should have been 41, but we have considered that while calculating. So, that is why I've written age at the start of the period. In class, usually we don't do it like this. We take 41, 42 and accordingly we work. But okay, it's fine. And yeah, this is the entire calculation. See, if you understand the basic concept if the basic concept is clear, so uh, you can easily, you know, at least solve major parts of the question. Now, very good question, Anjali. Can we solve this entire paper in 1 hour 45 minutes? See, your passing marks is not 100. Your passing marks is 50. You know, so obviously in any exam, actual exam, you will expect in paper A, somewhere around 25 to 30 marks will be a little difficult out of which 20 will be extremely difficult same applies for paper b in paper b also around 25 to 30 marks will be difficult out of that 20 marks will be extremely difficult now since the passing marks is 50 they don't expect you to score a 100 no one expects you to score a 100 so how much ever you are able to solve the paper be it if you are able to attempt 80 marks, be it you are able to attempt 90, be it you are able to attempt 70. But making it sure that whatever you are attempting, you are attempting it nicely. And if you obviously are not able to understand anything but apply your logic, apply your concept in paper A that you have studied and just do it in Excel. You know all the Excel basic formulas. You know how to present it in the form of a table. Like we used the recursive approach right now. So these basic things you all should know. Concepts you all should know. And you all can just produce it in your paper. I don't want you to solve a hundred marks. No one can. It's very difficult. People are, there are these very, very extremely intelligent people. They might be able to, but most of them, like 90... 7% of the students are not able to solve the entire paper in Excel of CM1. Still, I, still many of them are clearing the exam because what they want is that you solve it properly how much ever you are doing. Okay, na, Anjali? It's not 100 marks you're passing. Your passing is... Um, no, mistakes are not carried forward. So, in IEI also, they give you a lot of step marking. Each step has a mark. Each, each column has a mark. The marks is not only for the final IRR. So, all the columns are having marks. Okay. Alright, thank you so much. I'll be conducting more classes. Let, I'll let you know in the uh, group itself. Thank you. Bye-bye. ठीक है मैं ये फाइली शेयर कर दूँगी